Hello, friends. It's Miss Jess here in the mighty jungle. You're about to hear a Bible story, but before you do, I was wondering if you would play a guessing game with me. I'm going to give you three clues, and then you can guess the animal. Are you ready? Okay. Clue number one. This animal is gray. Clue number two, this animal has little ears. And clue number three, this animal lives in the water. Hmm. Do you know? A hippo. That's right, it's a hippopotamus. <laughs> Friends, I love hippos and I happen to know a song about a hippo. If you have ever been in Mr. Doug's toddler green class, you might know this song too. Do you know about the hippos? Well, it's kind of like the fish song, but instead we sing it about the hippos. Are you ready? Let's sing it together. All the hippos are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All the hippos are swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. Woohoo! Friends, that song is so fun. I was wondering before we start our Bible story if you could chomp like a hippo with me. Get your jaws ready. Are you ready? One, two, three, chomp. Hi, Jungle Explorers, and welcome back to the Mighty Jungle. My name is Hudson, and I'm so excited that you guys are here to learn more about God's Word. That's right. Explorers, my name is Miss Natalie, and I will be your jungle guide for today. Friends, we are learning so much about God's faithfulness. And this month, we are learning that God is with His people. He is faithful even when we can't see Him. But before we get more into that, we need to call on one of our friends here in the jungle, Fredward. Guys, let's do his jungle call to get him out here. Ready? Oh. Uh. Uh. Hi, Jungle Explorers. I'm so excited to see you out here in the mighty jungle. It's wonderful to be out here in the wild. Well, Fredward, we don't need your help with the rules because we know our friends are following them at home. But we could use your help with the story tree cheer. Do you think you can help us? Of course I can. All right, Jungle Explorers. Which book is the very best? The, the Bible. The Bible. I said which book is the very best? The, the Bible. The Bible. That's right, friends. All right, let's see what's inside of the tree. We have the Bible and... <gasps> friends, look! It's a picture of Esther. <laughs> hmm, I think I've heard something about Esther before. I say we go to our timeline and take a look. It's a great idea. Bye, Fredward! Bye, Jungle Explorers. Let's go. Now, we learned about Esther last week, and if I remember correctly, I think Esther's in the book of Xerxes. <laughs> Not quite, Hudson. Now, it seems like Xerxes is a really important character in the story because he's the king, but Esther's story is actually found in the book of Esther, and her story is a really important picture of God's faithfulness. That sounds so great. Hey, I see we run back over to our story tree to help us learn a little bit more. Great idea, come on! All right, friends, so last week we learned that Esther and Mordecai saved the king's life. They told them about some guards that wanted to get rid of him. That's right. And friends, today's story is about another evil plan. Another one? Who's in danger this time? Well, hi there, Mimi. You know, why don't you stick around and find out? Our story starts today with a man named Haman. And Haman was a very important person. So the king decided to make a royal order that everyone had to bow down to Haman to honor him. So did people do it? Did they bow down to him? They did, Mimi. Well, most of them. Mordecai didn't, though. Mordecai didn't bow down to Haman to honor him. And some guards found out, and they told Haman about it. Oh, no. This does not sound good. It wasn't good. Friends, Haman was very, very angry. He was so mad. And then something else bad happened. Haman found out that Mordecai was one of God's people. Yikes! The Persians don't like God's people, right? 
That's right, Mimi, they didn't at all. And Haman decided to go to the king about this. He had told King Xerxes that there were people that weren't following his laws and orders. So King Xerxes told him he could do whatever he wanted to those rule breakers. So friends, Haman made a royal decree. And in this decree, it said that on a certain day, all of the people of the kingdom could get rid of God's people and steal all of their stuff too. And then he sent it out all over the kingdom. That's so scary. What are they going to do? Well, Mimi, you're actually going to have to wait a little bit longer to find out. We're going to learn more about Esther's story next week. What? I just can't wait. I'm going to go look and see if someone else in the jungle knows the rest of the story. See you next time. Bye, Mimi. Bye. <laughs> wow, it must have been a scary time for Esther, Mordecai, and all of God's people. I'm sure it was. You know, I bet it was probably hard for them to trust God because they couldn't see him and they couldn't talk to him to figure out what his plan was. But friends, God is faithful. Even when we can't see him and we can trust that he is with us. And God has a plan to save his people and we are going to learn more about it. You're right. This month we are learning that God is with his people, even when we can't see him. And our memory verse tells us a little bit more about that. Let's go check it out. Let's see if Coco, our coconut computer, can help us. Come on. Hey, Coco, what's the word? Our memory verse is faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Okay, friends, I think we should try this verse all together just in case Coco ever goes Coco nuts. Ready? Faith, faith is, is being, being sure of what, what we hope, hope for. for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Great job, friends. Now, let's do our special poem and pray. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Let's pray, friends. Dear God, thank you so much for today and for the lesson we are learning about Esther. Thank you, God, that even though things seem uncertain right now and none of God's people or Esther know what you're going to do, that they can trust you, that you have a plan. God, thank you that we can trust that you are with us and you are faithful even when we can't see you. Amen. Okay, friends, now we're going to sing a song about how God is with us. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with Hey guys, I'm Ethan. And I'm Owen. And we're bringing you guys back another Moment of Random. So today, we thought it'd be fun to just go outside and since it's fall, find the prettiest leaf. And it's pretty cold, so I'm gonna zip up my jacket. Let's go. Let's see. 
Oh, here's a cool leaf. It's kind of a big leaf too. It's like Yo, green. Yo, Ethan. It looks awesome. Ethan. Oh, I hear Owen. Let's go see what he's got. Ethan, look. This leaf is so pretty. I'm so proud um, of myself. Oh, and that's so, a stick. This is a leaf. Try, try and find a leaf. It kind of looks like this. It, uh, it feels like a leaf. You should, you should look for a leaf, not a, not a stick. This is a stick. Uh, we, we don't need the stick. Can, can you go find a leaf? Yeah, yeah, all I, right, all right, uh, yeah. Go. All right, so I'm gonna go try to find a leaf this time. Here, here we go. Okay, <laughs> okay. Here's this. Ethan. Ethan, you need to come over this time. I got, I got the leaf. What'd you find now? Look, this one's really pretty. I. This is a rock. Leafs are not heavy. This is a rock. This is rock. You know, a leaf would probably take a while to sink, but a rock sinks right away. That's a rock, not a leaf. Try, try and find a leaf. Uh, okay. All right, I am um, trying to find a really cool leaf. I found one awesome leaf. Let's see if, you're, if I can find another. Whoa! This leaf's pretty big too. Look at this one. It's got Ethan, colors, Ethan, green Ethan, green and orange. Ethan, I, I, I finally, I finally found What'd a leaf. That, that's the word leaf, but it's not a leaf. Can you find an actual leaf? I don't think so. Well, I guess Owen did technically find a leaf, but it was the word and not an actual leaf. This was another moment of random. Friends, today we learned about another evil plot in Esther's story. But we know that God will help her because God is faithful even when we can't see him. Speaking of not being able to see him, I had so much fun with the blindfold obstacle course last week that I thought Ethan and I should make one for Kristen to do. So I'm going to go get Miss Kristen and we're going to have her go through our obstacle course. Be right back. Okay, friends. So I have Miss Kristen here. We're going to let her get ready um, to go. And when she's ready, are you ready, Miss Kristen? I think so. Ethan and I are going to lead her through the obstacle course. Okay, here we go. So first, Miss Kristen, take a very small step towards my voice. Okay. So turn your body a little. Yep, like that. Now take a tiny small step. Now you're going to have to oh. lift your foot up really high and step over something. Okay. okay. So foot up. Do you need a hand? Finding my balance. Over. Yep, you're good. Foot down. Yep, yep. Other foot. Okay. Uh-huh. Lift up. There you go. Okay, good stop. shoes for this. No, your boots <laughs> are hard to do this in. Now, will you take a, don't move forward or backward. Take a step to your right. Right is this way. Yep. One more. Oh, you're moving forward a little bit. That's okay. Take a step to your right. Now, hop, 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 up and over. Okay. It's not a very big distance. Not a very big, not a very big distance. Okay. Just, no, hop high, but you don't have to worry about like, hop high. the object is small. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, this you're, is very, very strange. You're not going to get hurt. Okay. Yeah, you did it. Okay, that's all. Good job. All right, I'm going to move over here so that okay. we're not blocking each other. Okay, now, Ethan, I need to stand closer to you. Just kidding, so you can hear. <laughs> so you can hear Ethan because he's not mic'd. Will you explain the all next right. part? So kind of turn towards me. Okay. Yeah. All right, take three baby steps. One, two, three. Perfect. All right. Oh, felt something. Yes. Now, with your left foot, give a kick. Give a kick? Yep. Towards kick. the camera. Towards the camera. Or your right your foot. Your right foot. Kick towards the camera. Okay. Kick yep. Towards the camera. Yeah! <laughs> Did it. Great. Okay, we're going to get rid of all the tripping hazards. I didn't hazards. know what else I was expecting. <laughs> but not this. All right. Last so, obstacle. Um, last obstacle. You're going to go forward a few steps. I right, stop. Now be very careful because <laughs> you're going through. I'm going so through something. So yeah, do I need to duck yes, down? Yes. Duck. Okay. Okay. How how low? Lower. 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 Right there. Oh. There you go. Okay. Now, now go, through. go through. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. Now stand up. Okay. Scoot back this way towards our voices, so that you're in, on, on camera. Oops. All right. Now you can take off your blindfold. Okay. You can what see what we did. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was so much And we had fun. you kick over a Jenga tower because why not? It's an obstacle.
magical course. I was not expecting kicking over the tower at all. Well, friends, um, you guys should definitely do this at home. Have your grown-ups take a video and comment on Facebook. It would be yeah. so fun for us to see your obstacle courses too. Absolutely. All right, up next, I think we're gonna sing a song, aren't we? We are. We're all gonna review right. what we learned today. Friends, today we learned about how Mordecai refused to bow down to honor Haman, and then Haman got really angry. So now we're going to sing a song to help us remember that God is faithful. Here we go! We're exploring in the jungle, yeah, we're looking at God's word. He is faithful, never changing, and this is what we've learned. Mordecai was righteous and refused to bow. Now Haman's really angry, but we know somehow that God is faithful to him. He's faithful to me. <laughs> Great job, friends. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time here in the Mighty Jungle. Bye!